long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. Well, South Africa is on the world mixed martial arts map, largely courtesy of the elite middleweight, Drakus Duplessis. And he got a lot of respect from his peers after beating Robert Whittaker at UFC 290. You had to look far and wide for any of his fellow fighters to be picking Duplessis going into that fight. And not only did he beat Whittaker, he bludgeoned him and got him out of there by TKO in round two. That laid the foundation for a title fight for Drakus Duplessis. This man is a physical force hardened by his upbringing in South Africa. Excited to see what he can do with the opportunity tonight, DC. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Boss El Guapo And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Dracos Silva Duplessis. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, one of the best middleweights in the world at present, Dracos Duplessis, prioritizing a fast start tonight as we get underway in round one. Not as though he's... <laughs> his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, my goodness. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Straight right is there. Game of inches right there. <laughs> Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. Oh, nice kick. Fast pace here in the early. Oh, you heard him real bad. Swing and a miss by Duplessis. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Lands a big right hand there. Solid kick right there. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. 
Yup, that gets his feet. Good job by the same thing. Slide back up. Yup, got to be very careful there. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Ooh, he's setting up another submission now. Oh, good tap up there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. He's out again. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Making all these shots count. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just... Oh, he's got his back. <laughs> yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Duplessis back in full mount. <laughs> oh, nice headlock. Oh, that looks tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. you got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Nice positional control here. Oh, great ground shot there, and that one opened him up. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice shot there by the champ. North-south position now. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Nice straight right legs. Under seconds. a minute to go. All right, well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Collar tie here in the clinch. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Well, he blocked that punch. This is a terrible position. Constantly a moving target. 
got to be careful here. Duplessis is able to flatten him out. This could be real trouble now. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Oh, oh that was deep, but he got out. That was beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half -way. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop him. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Huge kick lands again. Big shot lands for both guys. Hands higher, hands higher. Focus there again. Play shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You can tell by his eyes. He's taking leaps. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. All right, to the mound. Let's go. I need you to posture and attack. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Duplessis is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's advancing. There it is. Need some more, guys. Keep the pressure. That's tight. Oh, he got out. He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Duplessis, left calf does not look good. You see the welt, you see the obvious signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition. The side mount as he covers the deep ball. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Let's go! Get him off! Get him off! Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. Beautiful ground and pound approach, and now his opponent is starting to swell. Right in the side control, yep. 30 seconds to go in the round. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. He's it up. He's landing big ground and pound. He has to move on the bottom, or the fight's gonna get stopped. Big ground and pound. Seconds winding down in round two. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, Got, got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do 
is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Big left hand! Jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, collar tie. Duplessis going for the takedown here, but he misses. While well, he's mixing up. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Oh, nice. Oh, he got hurt again. Oh, nice takedown defense. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, oh these ground strikes are just brutal. Great work here from the bottom fighter. We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, side control now. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Moving his head pretty well. Huge elbow there. Duplessis going for the sub here. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now. Oh, my goodness. The winner by submission. Oh, boy. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening. And then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Rikers Silva All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the